the Cell Shaded Reactive Bundle. Defy realism with the Tracer Pack Cell Shaded Reactive Bundle. Note this bundle features a blueprint that evolves as you get kills. Bro, what is this? <laughs> so this has got to be one of like the most unique looking skins in the game. It kind of reminds me of that Judge Dread skin that we got in Warzone, I think like maybe last year. It's kind of like a like cell shaded or like comic book looking skin. This is sick. I'm not gonna lie. I can't wait to actually equip that. And then we also get the Fresh Ink Assault Rifle. I think this is for the Krig. It's reactive. That design looks insane, mind you. And that's the final form. Oh my God. Typically, I, I'm a huge fan of like Mastercrafts, but not every weapon needs to be a Mastercraft, right? They could drop reactive camos and they can look really sick just like this one. So we get a MAC-10 in here, which is not a reactive. We get a charm, a finishing move. Let's check it out. Oh, oh. Okay. The calling card, sticker, accessory, blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. So a pretty interesting bundle. Of course, if you guys are purchasing any bundle within the Call of Duty shop, make sure to use my supporter creator code. It's just raid R-A-I-D. Takes two seconds to add and uh, it really supports me. It just looks like it's not supposed to be in this game. You know what I'm saying? But it literally looks like we're just have a comic book character right next to us. I'm really interested in this Craig variant. So it has the three times scope, which I feel like we should maybe change that to like a microflex. Has the agency suppressor, which we'll probably keep that on just because I want to retain the image of the gun. It has this barrel in walking movement speed damage and straight okay so that effective damage range minus 40 percent i mean that's probably gonna hurt the gun a little bit we have the 50 round magazine and we also have the airborne elastic wrap as well which we can maybe change that because we're probably not even gonna see that in game i think i'm just gonna put that speed tape on i know you guys are watching the video right now i'm only giving you guys five seconds to drop a like if you guys don't drop a like in the next five seconds you get bad luck I would not risk it. I'm not gonna lie, this gun, it looks really sick, bro. It's almost like a, like a manga panel uh, just on your gun. And oh, I can't wait to see this thing just being upgraded as we get killed. Also, guys, I just wanted to quickly say uh, thank you guys so much for, you know, watching the video, sticking around the channel, showing me love and support each and every single day. I honestly really, really appreciate it. This has probably been like one of the most like dead periods of Call of Duty I've actually seen in a very, very long time. It's been pretty difficult to try and like either come up with like fresh and new innovative like ideas for videos and stuff like that. I almost just got a quad feed. Yeah, like it's been really difficult to try and like record videos or like record like creative and fun ideas. And I know I haven't like daily uploaded videos in like a very, very long time. It's just a pretty dead time right now. And I feel like that's the case for like a lot of Call of Duty YouTubers. Like they're not really uploading every single day or, you know, there's been a lot going on and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support. As I already know, when Modern Warfare 2 drops, we're going to be back to daily uploads. We're going to be back to streaming. I love Mastercrafts because, you know, it changes the look of the like entire gun and you know, it has like a unique, a unique inspect that's very, very different compared to like other variants of that gun or other blueprints. Not every gun has to be a Mastercraft. We just got one literally last week with the, um, you know, the unicorn and everything. I just got stuck. Oh my God. Wait, this is the final form of the gun. Bro. This is insane. And not every single bundle has to include a Mastercraft, although that's the things that I really, really like, you know, the most. And I like creating videos on just like to see like the unique inspect and stuff like that. Like it's really, really sick. I'm gonna destroy that gas mine. I don't know why it didn't trigger or go off, but okay. What the hell? Yo, this Craig is really good. Like the attachments that they give you, are actually top tier for sure. Also, with me saying that this has been kind of like the most dry period of Call of Duty I've seen and like kind of like a pretty dead period, it's also been one of the most insane periods of Call of Duty. This past month, we've seen just leak after leak after leak having to do with Modern Warfare 2, Warzone uh, 2, the DMZ mode, and also Black Ops 5 or Call of Duty 2024. We've just been seeing the most insane leaks in the past month. There's this person, I think there's like actually maybe two people. There's Ralph's Valve on Twitter, but then there's also Reality UK. And Activision keeps taking down Reality UK's Twitter. Like, he's been posting a crap ton of information, like images of leaked maps in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, he's been tweeting leaked images about the Warzone 2 map, uh, also about, like, Black Ops 5 maps or Call of Duty 2024. He's literally just tweeting, like, preview images and, like, loading screens. And it's pretty much, like, factual information probably at this point, considering Activision is taking his account down. And a lot of this information is coming out of the uh, Warzone mobile mobile beta files, which is really weird. We got this man right here. Kill him. We got this guy right here. Kill him. We got this guy right here. Kill him. Yep. No spawn protection. We don't want that spawn protection. You guys already know we don't want that. Oh, got a double kill. This guy's going to come up. Nice. There we go. We got this guy right here. Nice. We got another dude. They're all sniping back there. We got another hand cannon so we can take this out. One, two.
to. But yeah, I think like the next like month or two are going to be pretty interesting as well. So we have like the rest of July. We have the rest of August and then September, mid-September, we're getting the Modern Warfare 2 beta. So that's going to be really, really interesting. We'll finally have the opportunity to play Modern Warfare 2, which is going to be absolutely insane. And then the game comes out in October. So really these next two months are probably going to be a little dry or a little bit interesting. We still don't have like an official release date when it comes to uh, Warzone 2, but um, you know, we have Modern Warfare 2 October 28th. I think Warzone 2 will probably drop like pretty soon afterwards, in my opinion. I, I think it'll drop pretty damn soon. There's also been a lot of information leaking about the new DMZ mode, which is kind of like Call of Duty's take on Escape from Tarkov. I'm really curious to see what that mode is going to be. I think it's going to be free to play, and I think it's going to be released in 2023, so like next year, probably like beginning of next year. I'm honestly really curious to see about that. Like, I've never played Escape from Tarkov. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have, but it's never been really a game that's been on like my radar or a game that I really wanted to like try, so I never had like really the urge to play it. That was a triple or a double. Can I not die? That'd be sick. Got the harp as well. Dude. Right, that's the game. Damn, we dropped 80 kills. We didn't drop a nuke, but like we popped off. Damn. So one of the things that uh, this reality UK person has tweeted about Call of Duty 2024, Treyarch's next project, he basically data mined a lot of weapons, like a lot of weapons that are apparently going to be in the game. Guys, let's just be honest. It's 2022. We're still a very long time away from 2024 and Treyarch's next Call of Duty. So things are subject to change. There's a lot of like leftover coding when it comes to like the past games and then it kind of rolls over into the next games that they're making. There's a lot of testing files. So I'm gonna read off a lot of the weapons that are going to be in the game uh, apparently don't quote me on it take it with a grain of salt because a lot of this will change but apparently in Treyarch's next cod the m16 will be there the xm4 the ak-47 the sg-550 you have the as val from modern warfare which is pretty interesting uh the krig the fal the mp5 the tech 9 the spas 12 the mossberg 500 the usp-40 the combat knife then there's just a lot of like leftover coding as well or maybe like three or four snipers dragonov is apparently coming back yeah so it's pretty early on like it's just impossible to really tell what guns are going to be in Treyarch's next COD it is pretty interesting just to kind of see like with the code that they're working with and we also don't know the exact time period of when the next Treyarch game takes place kind of just you know looking at like the maps that had already been leaked and also just like the weapons and stuff a lot of people are saying it's going to be a continuation to Black Ops Cold War or you know kind of like taking place in like the late 1990s maybe even like the Gulf War era um pretty interesting stuff I know I I think I would rather like a semi-futuristic Call of Duty from Treyarch because I feel like that's where they kind of performed their best in my opinion. Like Cold War was like okay, but I feel like it wasn't their best Call of Duty and I feel like their futuristics or semi-futuristic games like Black Ops 4 have performed the best. And Black Ops 2 was also semi-futuristic. What's about to happen? But that man just got outplayed. Um, so yeah, th things are subject to change. So we'll, we'll kind of just see what happens. You know, what happens to uh, the next Treyarch game? My lobbies today have not been good. I've already raged like 10,000 times on this game today. So yeah, yeah, I've already kind of been raging. Got the harp we can throw up. Wow, I just absolutely snapped on that guy. Oh my God, he threw an eight. My, my hand cannon shots have not been okay recently. Um, Right now they look super juicy. I think this guy's probably up top.
22. Got it, the nuke. Oh my god, let's go. The amount of raging that I did today was just absolutely insane. Like, nothing was going my way today. Like, app, like nothing. Like, I got terrible, just like Call of Duty luck today. Oh my god, I wasn't even gonna play this map because this map is just so freaking hectic. Oh my god. Please drop a like and subscribe.